Hello and welcome. This is a psychology revision video for undergraduate students which focuses on the evolutionary approach to mate selection. To begin, we'll talk about evolution itself. Darwin states that individuals vary according to their species. Their variations can be inherited and passed on to other generations, therefore individuals compete for resources and try to be successful in reproduction. The process leads to an evolutionary change and the species adapt to their environment for their survival. Richard Dawkins, 1967, states that survival is at a genetic level and that our purpose is to pass on our genes. He proposed the selfish gene theory. This involves two types of ways of getting individuals to pass on their genes to the next generation. One way to pass on your genes is through direct fitness. This is when individuals reproduce and pass on their genes to their offspring. The second way is through indirect fitness. This involves helping relatives with the same genes to reproduce the next generation and bring up children to survive to a reproductive age. Both of these lead to inclusive fitness, which is the measure of all genes passed on to the next generation. Now please pause the video to discuss what you think females look for in a male partner. These are some of the characteristics that Buss suggests females look for in a male partner. Protection, parenting skills, social status and attractiveness. We will go into more detail throughout the video. However, if you want to extend your revision a little further, you're welcome to look at the studies provided that support each aspect. The characteristic of protection can be split into bravery, strength, athletic ability and size. These enable males to protect. The next characteristic is attractiveness. This can be split into symmetry. Those with a symmetrical face may be seen as more appealing than those who are not. Furthermore, we have physical attraction, masculinity and health. Attractiveness tends to suggest that males are fit and healthy and have good genes for the next generation. Females look for males who are emotionally stable, dependable, willing to invest in their children and are kind. This will lead to successful parenting skills to enable survival for their offspring. Lastly, females look for status. This means that they are ambitious, well-educated, have high financial prospects, and therefore have more resources to invest in the female and their offspring. A good social status provides a powerful cue to his possessions of resources. Now, as done before, please pause here to discuss what you think males look for in a female partner. Some characteristics that males look for are youthfulness, attractiveness and chastity. All this is supported by the studies shown. Again, you're welcome to go over these in your own time. The first characteristic is youthfulness. This means that males look for a younger female partner that is fertile. This is because older females have less gametes, therefore are less fertile and favourable. The Miller et al. study investigates tip earnings by lap dancers in clubs. 18 lap dancers recorded their menstrual cycles and tip earnings for 60 days. The girls that were in the fertile stage of their cycle earned almost twice more tips than those who were not. This suggests that fertility may be seen as important to men even if they do not realise it. Furthermore, we have attractiveness. As found with females, males look for physical attraction. This is often enhanced by makeup. However, they see wide hips and waist to hip ratio as two of the most important features of the female body. This is because these features are seen as able to carry a child. As we've learnt so far, males are focusing a lot of their desires on females who can pass on their genes. The best way for this to happen is for their potential mate to be a virgin, as this gives them certainty that the child is actually their own, and therefore they avoid investing in a child that doesn't actually hold their genes. Now we'll consider the investments and costs of men and women. So, as seen here for females, the costs and investments appear higher than for males. This is because impregnated females have to carry the baby for nine months, and even after the pregnancy, the female has the choice to invest more time to breastfeed. This essentially means that females give up the opportunity of another reproductive partner during pregnancy, whereas males can pass on more copies of their genes in the same period of time. Females may need to be more selective in acquiring a male mate as women have a limited amount of gametes whereas males have a large amount of gametes that are replenished daily. To conclude, the sex differences shown here may reflect evolutionary selection pressures on males and females showing how they are different. This provides cross-cultural evidence on sex differences in reproductive strategies, Bus 1989. However, the evolutionary theory of mate selection does not account for homosexual relationships or arranged marriage.